Hello, this is Samo Guy in Hawaii with this week's breakdown of the featured Chaos Chamber run for 9 through 15 June. So your first encounter is going to be a seafloor temple map, crabs and sharks. A secondary objective is finish enemies while standing in sacred ground. Uh, the two possible curse choices are a medium or a hard one, healing vengeance or stay back. Uh, I would not worry so much about the definition of what's difficult and what's not. Pick whichever one you can handle best throughout the rest of the run. Uh, the two possible choices for what you get at the end of the next run are the Butt Stallion Skill Perk or Dragon Lord Curse. Second corner is the Seafloor Map, Skeletons and Pirates. You need to finish before time runs out. There is also a yellow Raid Boss symbol. And your choices thereafter are Equipment Drops or Dragon Lord Curse. Third encounter. This is a Sunfang Oasis map. Sharks and Serpent Maintenance. You need to kill enemies with melees for that secondary objective. There is a green Raid Boss symbol. And you get to choose between Butt Stallion Skill Perks or Dragon Lord Curse. The fourth encounter. This is a Seafloor Temple map. Uh, sharks and Serpent Maidens. Mostly Sharks. With the last enemy, because this is kill all enemies for a secondary objective, being Master Taunt Hammer. This is that mini boss. And you get to choose between extra crystals or equipment drops for the next run. Fifth encounter is a seafloor map. Skeletons and pirates. You need to protect the butt stallion statue. Uh, and you get a choice between extra crystals and a dragon lord curse. The sixth encounter is a crack mast cove map. Cultists and pirates. You need to destroy the Dragon Lord statue for the secondary objective. And then there's also a blue raid boss symbol if you want to do that. And you get to choose between extra crystals or equipment drops for the last run. Seventh and final encounter before the boss is a Mount Croc Cavern, Crabs and Pirates, and the always popular Keep the Fire Sparks Alive by Feeding It Moats, secondary objective. And of course the last boss, the final boss, is La Chance, which shouldn't be too hard if you're set up to do Frost. Uh... Also, this week, there is a reduced elite encounter cost for all Chaos Chamber runs. I think uh, it only costs like seven crystals to make an encounter elite. So keep that in mind if you want to uh, up the difficult, but also up the number of crystals you'll get on the end, on the end run. Uh, and that's about it for this week. If you like this kind of content, leave me a like, a comment, or subscribe. And as always, stay safe, and thanks for watching.